Well, hi there. Welcome to the uh, Marine Campus. It's a pleasure for me to uh, talk to you today about all the uh, safety protocols that we've put in place in order to ensure that students and staff and faculty are safe working here at the Marine Campus. The approach that uh, we took certainly followed very closely, if not to the letter, the process from BCIT and that provides for signage, physical distancing, sanitization, all sorts of layers of safety protection as part of this process. Traditionally, all of this was face-to-face. -face. Uh, instructors have had to uh, really uh, embrace new ways of delivering that same content. So some instructors are, are fine with an, um, what they term a virtual classroom. Um, others have um, looked at a very interesting piece of technology that's it's a whiteboard but it's in front of you and the instructor is able to do a lot of schematics, a lot of graphical work, typically difficult to do unless you are using a whiteboard or, a, or chalkboard for example. They uh, thought of very unique ways using multiple cameras of showing how to do chart work online. We'd be sending them dividers, parallel rules, in order that they would still have that hands-on feel to then tie it in with a little bit of face-to-face -face where they actually can then still come in and actually physically uh, do it with an instructor there. So it's a unique solution to a, a very challenging piece of this. There hasn't been a real, I think, statistically significant change in the number of students who have uh, successfully completed the courses, whether it's online, using the paper-based exam as our control. So obviously everyone is stepping up, the, instru the instructors have stepped up, and the students themselves in order to learn how to learn online. So what we may see uh, down the road is that instead of the typical face-to-face -face delivery, which has existed since the dawn of time almost, that there's going to be a, a change and I believe, personally, this change is going to be something that's going to continue for a long time to come. It also provides learners with uh, different opportunities and different options. Maybe they want to uh, work from their, uh, their home up in uh, uh, Fort St. John or something like that, and with the periodically coming down to the campus. You still have your time at sea. You still get your co-ops on board a ship. You still get to experience the rolling of the ship, the smell of the salt air. That's all part of it. But the element of the school part is going to change. I would really like to thank the uh, students in particular. Um, this isn't what they initially signed up for. They were all geared up for face-to-face -face delivery. Um, and COVID and the uh, pivot to online uh, learning has changed all of that dynamic. They have been very patient with the Marine Campus here in uh, learning how to learn online and working with their instructors as the instructors are also learning how to deliver online. I certainly appreciate all their hard work in getting that, uh, getting that moving forward so that the Marine Campus can move forward and continue to deliver its uh, top quality um, maritime education and training.